guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you guys are all doing well. Just to let you know beforehand, this video might be a little lengthy because I have compiled a video on what to do to stop oil from forming on your face the best, what I use, and I have been using for a while. I've tested out so many products in recent times to figure out what is best for oily skin, and this is a consensus that I've come to. So, the first thing I would recommend is wash your face with um, a pore cleansing uh, cleanser because when you wash it with something like that it has like an exfoliating kind of texture to it. Like it has little beads in there that really gets out all the dirt and oil from within your pores. So you're, you're really really starting off with kind of a blank slate. A slate that doesn't have too much oil to begin with because normal cleansers don't really work that hard to take away dirt and grime. They kind of wash with whatever's off the surface but not go under to really clean. So what I've been using is, what is it? I would show it to you guys, but I actually just ran out of it, so I have to go to the store later on today to get it. Um, I think, okay, yeah, it's Clean and Clear's uh, Gentle Pore Cleanser. It's in a blue bottle. It's like a blue tube that you squeeze out, and it's one of those tubes that, like, sits upside down, if you guys know what I mean. Um, maybe if I get it today, I'll just, I'll insert this into the video so you guys know what I'm talking about, but that's really good. It is gentle, but it really feels like it's cleaning your skin because you can kind of feel it working. It's not as gentle as other cleansers that don't have these beads in there, but I love it. I've been using this for probably about a year now. So, I mentioned in an earlier video that I'm going to be trying out Philips Milk of Magnesia. Sadly enough, this did not work out for me. Next, to moisturize your face after the um, Clean and Clear Pore Cleanser, I use Oil Free Moisture by Neutrogena. I have been loving this because it's really, really good for my face. It doesn't make me feel very tight and like like uncomfortable like a lot of my other um, uh, moisturizers have been doing lately. It's just a MAC one that I've been like loving for the past year. So I switched over to this. Even though it is summertime, my face has been getting really tight with this. I don't know if that means that my face is becoming less oily now, but I really, really like this. Um, this is for sensitive skin. It's not for oily or combination skin, but they do have those out there if you're really worried that this might be too oily or something for your skin. Next, I put on my Skin Refined T-Zone treatment in my T-Zone area. This is sold as a product that is a treatment um, to minimize the appearance of your pores, but it is not a treatment. Over time, it's not going to make your pores diminish or go away, but it is an instant gratification product. As soon as you pat this on, like I pat this on right over here, you know, the sides of my nose and my forehead area, your pores literally diminish right in front of you, but it's only an instant gratification product. So once you put on your foundation over it or whatever and you wash it off, your pores are going to come back to whatever it normally will look like. It kind of closes up the holes by putting this product in there, but it's not going to diminish it forever. It's kind of it's a multitasking product. It does the job of a mattifier and a pore refiner at the same time. So I just spread this all the way over here, my nose, here, and my forehead. Not my entire forehead, but just around here. And I find this is the best product I've used for this purpose. It's amazing. Um, after you you first moisturize, then you put this on, but leave about two minutes before you put on foundation because if you try to put on foundation too fast over this, it will be incredibly streaky and it will be very, very difficult to recover from that mistake that you've made. Also, a lot of people like putting on foundation before putting this on and that's fine too. For me, I like it underneath, but I really like this. And then, the three foundations that I have been trying for a while and that I can honestly say are very good at oil control is one, Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus. This is sold as a product for oily skin and it really is that. I have a whole review about this, so go check this out. It's one of my most looked at videos and in this it is definitely my holy grail foundation. I love this. It's a very, very good product for oily skin. If you don't have oily skin, I would not suggest using this because it's a very, very thick foundation. So it will completely... It's kind of not going to make your face breathe as much as you would want it to if you have normal skin. Two, MAC Studio Fix, which is a powder plus foundation right here. This is a full coverage powder, and this does a great job of controlling oil as well. Because it is a powder, all powder-based things are going to be better at that. Also, for Makeup Forever, this, I would suggest setting it with the Makeup Forever HD High Definition Powder because these two together are a triple threat. I guess a double threat, but... They work very, very well together. I have tried to set this with Max Blot Powder and that oxidized really fast and made my foundation look darker than my face really is, so I wasn't too happy with that, but 
this is a great product to set it with. I'm sure the Max Prep and Prime um, translucent powder is just as good, but I haven't used it. Also, the Bare Minerals Matte SPF 15 foundation is great as well. However, this by itself is not going to be as good as the other two products that I showed you for the control. So I pair it with the Mineral Veil that you can buy from there. This is the Tinted Mineral Veil. It looks just like the foundation. It's also in powder form. But, okay, so that is what I do on an everyday basis. I just set my, like these are the three foundations that I use on a daily basis. It kind of depends on what I need. In the summertime, I'm, I'm, I've been using this a lot more because it has SPF in this, while the other two don't. Um, at night when I go out, I always use this. And for days that I don't think are going to be that hot and I need to get ready really, really fast, this is the best choice for me. But the other products that I've tried out and I'm going to review really quickly in here are the Mario Badescu Oil um, Control Moisturizer for Oily Skin. It's a tiny little packet right here and it is a very, very, very thick product. Like, let me see if you guys can see this. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's a very, very thick cream. And I thought that was really good, but I realized that because this was layering my skin with so much product that my oil was working even harder, like double time to come out, and it was creating a lot more oil in that in that for that reason. I didn't really like this. Also, in terms of oil control, I think this one does just you know just as great a job as this one does. So I wouldn't um, recommend this one. The last product I want to talk about is the No More Shine Makeup Finish, which I got online at Scandinavia.com. This is a product that a lot of celebrities use apparently. A lot of them use them at the Oscars and talked about it there. And I also got interested in this because uh, it's Judy time or Judy here on YouTube talked about this and said that she really liked this and showed us a little demo about this. If you haven't checked that out, you should go check that out. But this, the first day when I used this, I didn't think it worked very well at all. But then I used it for the whole month of March and it did a great, great job at controlling oil. But in April and May, it kind of didn't. It kind of had its days. Certain days it would, it would work very well, other other days it wouldn't. So I don't know if, if it had to do with like the humidity and, you know, where I live and what. If that is the case, if it isn't working well because of the extremely hot climate, then I would think that um, it's because it's not meant to work for extremely oily, moist situations. But this is what I do. Um, for this, I basically uh, put on my moisturizer and then I spritz my face with this about four pumps, six to eight inches away from my face. If you don't do it from that far away, you're going to get so much product on your face that it will leave behind a very shiny feel or look on your face that is not going to be able to be combated very easily. So um, definitely spritz them far away. I, would, I think less is more with this product. The, far, the less you use of this, I think the better job it does, strangely enough. Um, if you do by accident get too much in your face, take a rag or some cloth or whatever and kind of pat it away because if you don't, it that, it'll stay that way. It'll stay looking that shiny. So the thing with this product is once you put it on after your moisturizer, it's going to kind of give you a dewy look, which looks very, very pretty in my opinion. I think it looks like your face is very, you know, like youthful looking. It looks like there's moisture, which is good because you don't want to ever look like you've just stripped your face of all of its natural oils. But then... Let this dry for about a minute. It literally, I mean, it'll dry pretty fast. Don't worry about that. And then I go ahead and put this on. So, moisturize this and then this. If I use this. I haven't really been using this lately. But if I do, then that's the order that I go in. And then I put on my foundation. And you put on your entire face, your eyeshadow, mascara, you know, whatever you want. And then spritz again. For I hope that helped. I guess this is what I do for my oily skin and... These products, what I have just talked to you about, I've been using for a long time, especially, you know, this moisturizer, this one, and my foundations and whatnot. And I've struggled with oily skin for a long time, so I really have spent a lot of time figuring out what is the best, you know, situation or what kind of combination I can use to kind of combat my oily skin. 